So we have a word problem about coins where we have two types of coins and we're given the number of coins and the total value of coins. This is uh, fairly similar to the chicken cow problem. It's just nickels have five lakhs and dimes have 10 lakhs, sort of. So if we call the number of nickels x and the number of dimes y, then one easy equation is x plus y equals 260. Because the problem states that we have all together, we have 260 many coins. Now for the second equation, I'm gonna write an incorrect line that reflects the most frequent error that I see when grading student work. This is gonna be incorrect. So the total value of all coins in the jar is $20.25. 5x plus 10y equals to 20.25. So this is the most frequently seen error. Here is the problem. Every nickel is worth five cents. So if you say five X, then the left hand side is expressing the number of cents, but the right hand side is measured in dollars. So we have two options. Either let's think in pennies. Then we have, well, a nickel is worth five pennies and X many will be worth five X pennies. And the same way each dime is worth 10 cents. And now that the left hand side is expressed in pennies, we have to express the total value, which was given to be $20 and a quarter in pennies, which is just 2,025. That is one option. The second option is to go with dollars. So then the right hand side is clearly 20.25. On the other hand, we have to express the left hand side in dollars. So a nickel is worth how many dollars? 0.05, five hundredths, right? Five pennies. So 0.05 times x plus 0.1 times y equals 20.25. This is a fairly unpleasant equation, but it can be easily fixed. We can make all the decimals go away if we just multiply both sides of this equation by 100. But then we're gonna get this. So you do this problem a few times and know that it's just best to go for pennies. So if we are gonna run with this equation and x plus y equals 260, then we have this system to solve. Similarly to the chicken cow problem, if you investigate, the first equation can be simplified because every single coefficient is divisible by five. And once we divide it by five, what are we gonna get? So we're gonna divide the first equation by five. So then we're gonna get x plus two y so I'm getting 405 for the other side. So now <coughs> x plus 2y equals 405, x plus y equals 260. If we just subtract the first equation from this new second one, x will cancel out and y literally falls into our lap. But instead of subtracting, we're gonna add the opposite. So we're gonna multiply this equation by negative one to get negative x minus y equals negative 260. And so x cancels out, y is expressed, and 405 minus 260 is 145. Then, going back to the first equation, x plus 145 equals 260 means that x is 115. So this means that we think that we have 115 nickels, and 145 dimes. Now let's check. The total number of coins should be the sum of uh, these two numbers. So that's uh, six, yep, that worked. So we have indeed 260 total coins. Now what about the value of all these coins? Each nickel is worth $0.25, dollars, so when we multiply this number by 0 0.25, we get 5.75. So that means that these 150 nickels are worth five bucks and 75 cents. And the dimes, well, you just have to divide by 10, which means uh, we have $14.5 worth of dimes. And so when we add these two up, that would be the total value of all coins and we get the right amount. So our answer is that we have 115 nickels and 145 dimes. Thank you for watching.